Welcome back to Validated.js. As you know, validating each and every field of a form can be really annoying. The string evaluation method can really make that easy for us. To evaluate the validity of the content of your variable, let's check some of them out. Let's start by declaring the variable password. The method is lowercase verifies that the coin only contains lowercase letters, just as in this password. Now let's say you had to put a size limit on the password. In that case, is length can really come in handy. As you can see, it is much clearer to use is length than use conditions to verify the length of your string. Let's take another example. Imagine you had to verify the unicity of a login by going through all the existing ones, which are here stored in an array. Let's put three logins here. You can use the function is in, which allows you to look for an object in an array and return a boolean to indicate the results. So here we just saw how to look for a string in an array of strings. Validated.js also allows us to look for a substring in a string. You can see that in the next exercise. So go ahead and give it a try. I'll see you in the next video.